I'm gonna start by introducing myself. I'm Britta Weidinger. I'm a PhD student originally from Munich, now working in Karlsruhe. And I started my journey towards my PhD in 2013 when I started studying chemistry and biochemistry at the LMU in Munich before I continued with the master's also at the LMU. During the course of my studies, I got a chance to do an exchange semester in Uppsala, Sweden, where I got some insight into analytical chemistry and also did an industrial internship at TESA in Hamburg, which started my interest in polymers and their chemistry. My research project is about 3D printing on the nanoscale, and I've always been fascinated by both organic synthesis and fluorescence microscopy. So this topic sort of combines what I like. In my research, I'm currently trying to make a functional polymer that will then be used for 3D printing on the nanoscale, where we use a technique called direct laser writing, which offers better resolution than seen before. And printing on the nanoscale is interesting, because opposed to uh, additive manufacturing on the macro scale, you only can use light and manipulation afterwards is hard. So all needs to be there from the beginning and also the characterization is a lot more complicated than on the macro scale. So the aim of my research is to combine top down and bottom up technologies, meaning we're combining the additive manufacturing with a, an extra degree of order due to the bottom up where the cluster name also comes in, 3D matter made to order. We print it 3D and it has an order beforehand. I'm currently working on polymer synthesis, meaning I use a technique called a controlled radical polymerization, which offers better control than standard radical polymerization, which means I'm standing in front of my fume hood most days, trying to make the polymer with the properties I want to have. And currently I am trying to make a block of polymer the Cluster of Excellence benefits me in several ways since I got a chance to take part in an academic writing workshop in May, which I think will help me a lot when I start writing my own papers. And also just the infrastructure of the Cluster helps for collaborations since our next steps are going to be some electron microscopy characterization. And since Professor Rasmus Schroeder is also in the cluster, the contact was already established and now it's easier working together with other groups. After doing my master's thesis in the group of Professor Eva Blasco, I knew I wanted to continue. And then because of the support of the Carl Zeiss Foundation, the cluster was able to offer this position. And then I applied for the PhD position and was selected by the cluster committee. My plans for the closer future are continuing with my PhD work. We will be moving to Heidelberg, also within the cluster. During my PhD studies, but given the current situation, probably more after, I would like to collect some experience in another lab group in another country, potentially. So maybe a short postdoc, and then afterwards I would like to have a research role somewhere in industry.